Hey, it's Dave. So this past week we had a ton of huge AI news. One of course was GPT-4 and its release, which was just amazing. And then we had Microsoft announce Copilot, the integration with Microsoft Office. And then you had Midjourney, um, pretty much the leader in AI photo generation announced their version five release last week. In this video, I want to take a closer look at Midjourney's version five. I'm going to take you through um, basically some raw uh, images that I just generated over the past hour or so. And I want to take a look at the pros and cons, exactly what can the cutting edge AI photo generation engine do right now. And of course, all of this stuff is a moving target. Midjourney is working very hard to improve. So week to week, this stuff is going to actually change. So let's take a look at right now um, the discord server so with midjourney um, you go to midjourney.com you can sign up and then you sign up and you go into their uh, discord server um, to start generating images um, and i think you get a few you get some um, free test images and then you have to sign up for a monthly fee all right so let's go through um, the images that i generated with uh, midjourney i use this one prompt that i found um, earlier today and it says an analog photo sh shot with Leica from the 2000s of UC so 2000 so this is the the photo prompt I'm going to use for all of the photos um, and then I'm just going to add a description of the type of photo that I want so here's a UC Berkeley sprawl plaza with lots of students protesting I add version 5 and the aspect ratio so the main thing is just this description here so here is the first image here here's UC Berkeley students protesting now this isn't a real image this is actually AI making it up generating it on the fly here's another uh, AI image of Berkeley students protesting. Um, yeah, it's actually quite amazing. Like the amount of detail that goes into this, like the signs, the people, trying to make all the people different, um, the buildings, the scenery. It's um, it's actually quite impressive. Um, here's even a black and white. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look like Sprawl Plaza, but still, it's impressive. All right, here I, I say, um, I want a, a picture of a woman lost in a busy shopping mall in Los Angeles. So take a look at some of these photos here. Um, the most impressive was this photo here. Check this out. Look at the level of detail on this. Um, the woman's expression, you've got the, you know, a shopping mall in the background, um, lots of people. Very, very impressive mid-journey version 5. Um, I asked uh, for two people fighting outside of Walmart. This was not a great demonstration. I think AI photo generation still needs some work with action shots. All right, let's take a look at eating street food in Japan. So this is um, some images. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at um, some uh, the images blown up too. Here is I'm um, playing chess on the street. So two Asian men playing chess in China on the sidewalk of a busy street. So check out, um, yeah, he's got the whole, he got this whole ch chess pieces, the board, um, pretty impressive. Um, here's um, eating street food. That is cool. I mean, that is really realistic. Look at the decorations in the background. You've got, look at this food. It looks yummy. Man, that's like delicious. Jeez, man. AI knows, um, knows its stuff. All right, so photo shoot of a baseball team who just won the World Ser Series celebrating. Um, actually, we're going to take a look at that. Here's um, snorkeling at Honolulu, um, Hanamau Bay. Um, quite impressive of that. Um, and then, <laughs> so here I have a picture or a photo shot of Kobe Bryant versus Michael Jordan at basketball. Now check this out. This is crazy. You've got Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant next to each other. You've got this shot of them guarding each other. Kobe Bryant is like way maybe bigger than reality. And Michael Jordan is a little bit, um, yeah, it's not the most natural shot. Um, but still impressive. Here's um, the baseball team who just won the World Series picture. Now check this out. AI knows how to like, you know, I, I mean, it has some photos, a lot of photos in its database, but still it's creating, these are new photos um, it's generating. 
World Series team celebrating. And look at this, like these are all different. Like every time Mid Journey generates a photo, or they, they actually generate four photos at once. Um, so these are some examples. I did a 25 year old woman winning American Idol and celebrating. This wasn't that great. I think it didn't have maybe the context of what I was looking for. I was thinking more Kelly Clarkson on season one. Um, analog photo um, sh shot of being stuck in a tornado. Um, pretty interesting. Here's a camping shot. Now here's a Yorkie cuddling with their owner. So I shared on Twitter, um, my family, we lost our, our Yorkie dog this past weekend um, of 14 years. And so um, anyways, um, this is quite amazing. Look at these photos. That's insane. We're going to look at a couple of these photos more close up. Um, here is a um, 12 year old boy shooting basketball ball by himself at a school basketball court. This was not the greatest. Um, kind of lonely, no basketball in the left shots. The right shot, the basketball is placed strangely. Um, I'm going to take a look at this at the end. So let's take a look at Yorkie shots. Um, pretty impressive, right? You've got a black and white shot. Look at that. They know um, AI knows the cuddling position. Um, and it's not just that, it's the lighting, it's the angles, it's like where they're looking, right? The per person's looking down, the Yorkie's looking away. Look at the, the tone on this Yorkie dog. That's amazing. That's actually a great photo there. My goodness. Check out this photo too. Wow. Impressive, right? You've got the sunlight shining. Super impressive. Um, two friends eating tacos at a taco stand. Yeah, it's a so-so. I mean, eating is kind of, it's a tough one, right? That's going to be one of the things that AI has to work on. Here's family camping at Yosemite. This looks like kind of like a, like a painting in a, in a sense. Um, Here's a tornado, um, caught in a tornado. Here's the start of, a, of the Boston Marathon. Wow, look at this overhead shot. That's pretty cool, those angles. So far, pretty impressive. Uh, five friends celebrating birthday at with birthday cake and candles at a restaurant. Okay, not bad actually. Look at that, look at that restaurant scene. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Got another restaurant scene here. Very, very cool. Um, okay, so here we have Night Street of Myeongdong in Seoul, Korea. Even though <laughs> the signs are not Korean and it looks kind of old school, it looks like um, it's something from like the 60s or something, but nevertheless, it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the streets of Istanbul. Again, probably from the 60s, but still. Um, busy Cairo streets. That is pretty cool, actually. Wow. Um, here's two people eating croissants and drinking coffee at a sidewalk cafe in Paris. Yeah, eating again is a little bit tough. I'm going to show you some of these pictures more closely. All right, here's the Myeongdong in Seoul, the Seoul streets, um, kind of close up. Here's um, Seoul Street again, close up. Look at those taxis. That's like way old school. Um, streets of Istanbul close up. Hmm. It's pretty old school, but still impressive stuff. All right, so then I do, I'm strolling in the beach in Nice, France. Not bad, Nice, France, the, the Mediterranean. And then we've got another busy Cairo street here. I mean, check this out, man. They got like even the license plate numbers on the and the signs. Like AI is putting the 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 letters on the signs, you know, deciding the colors of all the signs and how all the buildings, these wires are looking. It's um, yeah. Think about all the details, right? That have to be decided on to make a picture like that. Yeah, just thousands of details. Look at all the like the signs, all the people. You have to decide on the cars, the colors, you know, all the buildings. All right, here's two people eating croissants. Again, not the best with eating. Here's another eating um, croissant picture in Paris. Again, eating is so-so. Um, nice, France. Strolling the beach in Nice, France. Not bad. And then I've got a cool little thing here. It says, women shopping at a Gucci shop. So I thought it would be interesting to 
to see what it could do more in like a high-end kind of uh, sh photo shoot here. You got this woman, Gucci bags, not bad. Um, you've got homeless man begging for food. So let's take a, lo a, a look at these close up actually. Let's go back to Gucci. I don't know what this woman is doing, it's smelling or looking inside some Gucci bag, I guess, or it's Gucci something. This is kind of a cool shot. Gucci in the background, missing the eye, but it's getting better. Version four had, uh, had a hard time with mid journey with the letters, but it's actually improving. Th those are just details that AI is getting better at. But look at all, the, look at this. It's like all these glasses like blurred out. You have the light shining down right from the cabinets. That's actually pretty impressive that AI would, would come up with that from a Gucci word right in the prompt. All right, homeless men begging for food. Now check that out, look at the detail. That, I mean, the placement of the apple or something is strange, but look at that, that's crazy. Here's um, another photo, look at the detail. That is amazing. Here's a black and white photo, wow, that is crazy, man. Um, here's Djokovic. So <laughs> Djokovic is the number one men's player in the world. Actually, I don't, probably not anymore since he wasn't able to get into the US. Um, but these are kind of strange if you look, here's kind of like, what is that? But it's, it's Djokovic's face and it's kind of hitting a weird shot, but these action shots are still something that AI is working on. Yeah, the, the dimensions of the racket and the net, right? Still working on. Here's again, looks like more like a video game thing, but still, um, here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. It, it needs some work, but that's the state of version five right now. All right, let's take a look at um, Santa Monica Beach. So I said Santa Monica Beach boardwalk with lots of people. Okay, not bad. That looks that's pretty impressive, actually. Here's the boardwalk. Like, yeah, AI is having to do a lot of deciding of lots of details. You know, each person, each color, each position, right? The buildings, the scenery. Um, here is AI again. Look at that. My goodness. Wow. That is crazy. Santa Monica Beach. Here I asked for the most amazing backyard garden ever. So yeah, that's decent garden there. That's a pretty nice garden there too. Um, you got an overhead aerial shot of a garden. And then you've got another garden. It's probably, yeah, I like this one too. Very impressive. All right, so we have a waiting in line at um, security check in a busy airport. Now check this out. This is actually quite impressive. Look at how many people there are. And um, wow, wow. Um, you know, it's just a matter of time before AI, before people start to figure out text to video and manipulating right the scenes and images. Now this is gonna get trippy after a while. Um, check this out, another airport scene. I mean, AI is far from perfect because if you look um, close up, you know, some of the faces are distorted. It's not clear. But then, but then again, like if you have a photo that's like, um, you know, there's a lot of people, it's going to have, you know, d that type of distortion or look anyways. Um, yeah, here is, um, oh, wow, that's a cool angle, right? Over kind of a wall looking out to people in line. And then here's another photo or waiting in line at the airport. Wow. You really get the feel of what it's like to wait in line at a busy airport. Right? And that was actually the prompt waiting in line at a security check in a busy airport. So anyways, guys, that was, um, yeah, mid journey, um, version five in action. I wanted to show you a bunch of different prompts. So now you've got a good idea of what the state of art AI photo generation can do at this present time. It's the action shots aren't the greatest, eating food, etc., has some weaknesses, but these scenes of like lots of people or at the beach, etc., these pictures of close up, right, with people's faces, with their pets or, you know, it's quite amazing some of the stuff that AI can generate right now. Now this is only version five, right? And a lot of this stuff has just happened in the past, you know, few months. Like version four for Mid Journey was a big breakthrough at the end of last year, um, but the pace of change that's that's happening right now with AI photo generation is just breathtaking. It's basically night and day just compared now. 
comparing now to six months ago. And so in six months from now, that's like, you can imagine how much better AI photo generation will be and we'll be moving into video and music and all sorts of media. And there's yeah a lot of question marks on what's gonna happen, right? As AI progresses, progressively gets better, not just with let's say GPT-4 and text and language and logic and reasoning, but also with media, um, photos, pictures, music, you know, all this stuff, video. And when you combine all this stuff, what's happening? Anyways, hope this has been helpful. I'll go ahead and link to um, the prompt I use and also um, some uh, links to get started with Midjourney if you're interested. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.